The September 14th event consisted of two black holes, each with more than 10 times the mass of our own sun, colliding together and emitting an enormous amount of energy in gravitational waves. The two black holes have spiraled into each other and they've merged. The amount of energy that gets released by that merger is around about 5,000 suns emitting over billions of years. And all of that energy gets released in less than a second. And that energy has traveled until it reaches our detectors, has wobbled our detectors by the most minute amount, but we have picked up that minute wobble, and that is the gravitational waves that we have seen. One of our contributions here at Monash was to develop a system of vetting detections. This involved injecting a fake gravitational wave signal into the detector. By showing that we can recover the fake signal, it gives us confidence that when we saw the real thing, we knew what we were doing. The event was picked up by an online computer program, so it was automatically found, and within moments, people knew about it. An email was sent out to the LIGO collaboration from one of our colleagues, and the title of this email, I'll never forget, was Very Interesting Event. Naturally, this caught my attention, so I looked at it. The data looked very compelling. It looked like it could be real. So I got on the phone and called my colleague at Monash University, Paul Lasky, and said, Paul, are you reading these emails? And he said, yes. Did we just detect gravitational waves? And I said, I think we did. And from that moment on, it's just been an amazing roller coaster ride of emotions. This is really just the beginning of a field of gravitational wave astronomy. We hope to see a lot more binary neutron stars, some isolated neutron stars, and a whole host of events like this. But I think the true excitement in the coming years is going to be what we never anticipated about the universe. And I think within a few years, we should have some incredibly exciting results going along those lines.